Hey my crafty friends, this is Deborah with All Day Pink and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make earring cards in the new Cricut design space. And basically, as I say before all of my tutorials, I pretty much do all of my videos as a point of reference for myself. So I can uh, remember how I did a particular thing. Today I'm using the earring tabs. And this is <clears throat> something that I purchased from either off of Et Etsy or another um, <clears throat> area. I am not for certain where I have to go through my notes and find it but nevertheless just a little bit of housekeeping right now it's like 12 13 let's see what time it is 12 22 in the morning it's Saturday April 18 2020 so the house should be pretty much sweet we have question I just saw up running around he's our he's our cat so if you hear anything, you might hear a question. We have um, Pluto. He's our pit bull pup. My daughter, my youngest, she might be still up and about. And then my oldest daughter, she might call. Pretty much everything else is uh, pretty quiet though. So. We're going to go ahead and get started. If my phone rings, it probably shouldn't at this time of morning. But if it does, then I'll put this on pause and hopefully I can find it. This will be my third time starting this darn thing all over again. But nevertheless, here we go. First thing that we're going to do is um, bring it to your attention that a lot of people are saying... Um, if you have Cricut Access, go to Cricut Access and download a label. Um, if you don't have access to Cricut Access, um, then go ahead and use a shape. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, a heart shape. You see I already have a heart shape down here. So I'm just going to go and use a heart shape again I'm sorry my allergies are messing with me I'm going to make this heart a little bit bigger just for your viewing pleasures we're going to turn it pink because I love pink all right so the first thing that we're going to do to get started is we're going to go back to our shapes. We're going to grab a circle. <clears throat> and we're going to change, we're going to unlock this circle. And we're going to change it to like an oval. Okay. We're going to duplicate that circle. <clears throat> Sorry. And put this circle inside the circle that we already made. All right, now I'll just take that to show it to you. Okay, we are going to group it by, let's just do that again. We're going to, um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just basically um, just... Dragging the cursor over it, or I think you can, um, yeah, so just go ahead and drag that cursor over it, and then you're going to come down here to group it, and then you're going to come down here and do slice, <clears throat> and then you're going to take everything apart, okay? And so these are things that we don't need, so we can go ahead and cut that. 
we're going to grab another shape. This time we're going to grab a square. Okay. Now unlock the square and just move it up a little bit. I like to cut the circle in half. All right, and then we're going to grab all of that and group it. And we're going to hit slice again. Move that, move that, and move that. All right, and so now, since we cut that in half, <coughs> excuse me, we can go ahead and get rid of this. I think we should be able to use this. Let's see if we can group it and take it down the size together. We're going to unlock it. <clears throat> We're going to take this, <coughs> the width down to, let's see if we can do the width together. Take the width down to, Zero point five eight three, and then the height we're going to take to see if I like it like this zero point three two five. Let's see. Okay. That works. And so we're going to go ahead and now this is something I want to try. See how we have this moved right here? Let me see what will happen if we go to a line and Let's see if we do center. Nope, that's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. Let's go and undo that. Let's see if I can undo that. Okay, good. Let me see how I can do it. Let's let's just I'm just doing something right quick. And uh, no. Let's not do that. Okay, so for some reason it doesn't want to align in the center for me, which is okay. Let's move this. Okay, so that's why I didn't do that. I was trying to figure out why I didn't have those grouped. There is a way to do it. Now, um, generally it wouldn't look this small, but because I have the heart this big, that's the only problem. So normally, it wouldn't be that, it wouldn't look that bad. So if the heart wasn't as big, it wouldn't be that big of a problem. Okay. So then, that way it'll look a little bit better for you. And then we're going to just make these line up right.
all right and then we are going to take and we're going to make the dots <clears throat> the circles excuse me and so we're going to go back to the shapes we're going to get this heart centered right actually because that was bothering me and we are going to first do our circle just in case you want to hang this somewhere or something and we'll change that to white <clears throat> And then we're going to make another circle. That circle could just be any size that you want. All right. So now these circles for the dots in here only has to be really small. So we're going to do the width at zero point zero five eight and then this one we're going to do at zero point zero four seven and lock it sorry and then we are going to unlock it because it didn't do what we wanted <clears throat> four seven lock there and then we're going to go over here and duplicate that wasn't right Okay. And then we'll put that in the center. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And then I'm going to grab this one and put that in the center too. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. I do apologize, really. Okay. And so, there you have it. So, I think it's kind of off-center, but we can play with this all day. Um, then you can put your text. Now, a lot of people are talking about different text and everything, but... You know, if you're using your pencil, you really should be using a text that is, um, it should say like white. So, um, you should do filter and you should do writing. And, um, let's see, do I not have it? I know I got some writing fonts unless it didn't come over. Hmm. Oh, let's do filter again and then writing. Mm. I do have some writing fonts on here. This is interesting because all of my fonts are telling me to download. And I've already gotten my fonts on here. So this is interesting. Um, give me just a second. Hmm.
Mm. So I guess some of my fonts Oh, my fonts didn't <clears throat> make the cut. See, these are my Cricut things that I already have. So sorry about this. So anyway, you would select the font. And I don't know what font is already selected, but we're just going to do text. This is a text that I've always, I was already working with. And I'm just going to type thanks here like I did up there. I'm going to push my words together. We're going to first break this font down. Let's do 16. Break it down a little bit more. We can make our words go together by um, doing spacing, mm. taking it down, and then we make it a little bit smaller and set it right there. And then <clears throat> at the end, what we want to do is we want to select all of this and we want to do attach. And so the text will um, cut and then the words um, and then all of this will cut. So what happened is you see how the text has an outline in it? The reason that the text has an outline in it is because I didn't select a writing font. And that's what I was trying to look for. So when you actually select a writing font, mm, give me a second. Select a writing font. And then technically you can go to draw. Let's do this. Let's detach. Let's do that. And let's say draw. We'll say draw that. And then will it let us do it as attach? Now is it going to let us? Okay, so there. What I did was I highlighted, I um, copy, I group, put a, a box around that, and then I put draw. So it's going to write it out for me. <clears throat> but still have the same problem. If we would have did a right font, then this would actually fill in and it wouldn't have that trace like that but for the sake of time I just went ahead and did it like that other than that you would go to text and then you would go and you would really try to find a font that says draw what is that lady's name that um see that's a they say this is a writing font but you know what? The last time I did that, it didn't work for me. Let's do thanks. And let me just put it right here. Um, 
just because. All right. And then we'll do attach again. Right, and see that time it didn't turn that way. And then it says text, and then it will do it the right way. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do um, make it, and then it should do everything on one. Actually, this is the one that we're looking for. Okay, everything will be um, there for you to cut. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. If you're watching this on Facebook or any of the other social media, feel free to leave a uh, question or comment. I'll be happy to get back to you. I'll get back to them quicker on the social medias platforms. and. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.